Now this is already cut. And I'm going to cut some more. There is nothing more exciting than harvesting fresh fruit from your own tree. And we have plums galore in the late bloomer garden. Today in Kay's kitchen, we're cooking up plum custard kutchen, a recipe I found at allrecipes.com by Pat H. And I can't wait to try Pat's easy recipe. So stay with me. The first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees and get that going. So we need two and a half cups of sliced plums. And the way I like to slice plums, because the flesh really tends to hang on to that pit, is just to go around, work it around the plum, and then you grab the ends if you want. Okay, that looks like about two and a half cups. Let's see. This is a two cup measure. So I think I'm gonna put a couple more plums in there. Okay. Looks great. First, we're going to make our crust. You add one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of organic raw sugar into a large mixing bowl. Mix it together. And then you cut in one stick of butter. You're just gonna chip it off this is one way to do it. There are other ways to do it. This butter is already softened. If it's not softened, you could put it through your grater. And then you're just gonna cut it in. You wanna keep cutting till the pieces are very small, very coarse. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to mix in one egg and two tablespoons of heavy cream. I don't have any heavy cream, so I'm using yogurt. That's two tablespoons and one egg. all starts coming together we're going to press it into a nine inch baking pan. Okay and you want to use an ungreased pan. In my case I'm using a quiche pan just because it's pretty and I like the way it looks. Try to evenly distribute it around the pan. So it covers the bottom. That looks pretty good. Now all we do is add our plums. Gorgeous. Okay. Now you're gonna put your cake in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, it's been 25 minutes. Let's check it out. Mmm. 
Mmm, that smells great. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna take it out. Set it up here. We're gonna whip up our topping, put it on and put it back in the oven for 25 minutes. Now we're gonna add our last four ingredients to a bowl. That's a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of, you're supposed to use cream. I don't have any, I'm using goat yogurt. So that'll be interesting. One teaspoon of vanilla and one egg. You're gonna beat it well. Mm, that looks great. And now we're just going to pour that over our cake. And boy, does that... <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't boil over. Wow. Okay. Something tells me I am going to make a mess in my oven. Yes. Look at that. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to let that settle down in the oven. Mmm. That smells wonderful. Okay, we are going to taste test our kutchen which has been in the refrigerator overnight. You can eat it hot or cold. I was just a little concerned about it seeping if I cut it when it was hot. So we're going to try it now. Ooh, boy, that looks good. Ready to try this? That is quite possibly the best dessert I've ever had. <laughs> I'm eating that whole thing, okay? Not sharing. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you enjoyed this one, why not try these? Thanks a lot. See you next time.